Hey, what's up? We are you so far? Come closer, man. Come closer, man. All right, so, all right. Surplus here, um, addicted to geography, um, with another interesting, well, I think it's interesting, uh, another interesting video for you. Uh, we have right here, look at this. Yes, this is actually a weather device. It's kept at every weather station, and it's called this. Alright, so to make sure you yeah, don't watch over here, so yeah, to make sure that thermometers are measuring the correct temperature of the surrounding air, they must be shaded from direct sunlight and should have sufficient air circulating around it. The Stevenson screen was designed by Thomas Stevenson, the father of Robert Louis Stevenson, the great poet. Alright, so let's look at it. Alright, so Impressive, isn't it? All right, so let's get to it. So the Stevenson screen, the first thing that you're seeing is it's white right so that feature of the stevenson screen it being white it reflects the sun's light and also some of the sun's heat because this box is going to be there in the sun all day all right so this box is going to be sitting at the weather station in the sun all day so if it's in the sun all day it's going to get that direct heat from the sun so if it was painted black it would have absorbed all of the sun's rays and made the thermometers inside read <laughs> an incorrect temp temperature reading so therefore they paint it white so that it reflects some of the sun's heat and light next thing hear that that's a sound of wood so it's actually made of board or it is actually a wooden box and as we know wood is a bad conductor of heat so therefore that also limits the amount of heating that this will take during the day in, or in the sun's light so it's made of wood and wood is a bad conductor of heat also you'll notice these features here another feature louvered windows or louvered window panes so it's louvered and it's pointing downwards so that air can get in and circulate within the box but the rain won't get in there so it keeps in the air and blocks out the rain so the air is allowed to circulate so that the, temp the thermometers inside can take the temperature of the air and it will be as close to the outside temperature or the temperature in the room all right now we look here we we'll see that here there is actually one roof here and another roof here so it has a double roof and this double roof is also a form of insulation to keep off some of the heat from getting and penetrating into the box so this is another feature the legs yes not all Stevenson screens will look like this but this is surpluses Stevenson screen so the legs prevent the heat from radiating off the ground and getting into the box which would cause an incorrect temperature reading all right so we have listed about four or five features of the stevenson screen well let's look inside now this is in the sun all day and yeah so maybe insects like wasps or bees may get in so you want to 
knock it a bit and step back in case they try to attack all right let's look inside currently in our stevenson screen we only have the hygrometer which is the wet and dry bulb thermometers but at the weather station at a great weather station there will be four thermometers inside here there would be the wet which is this one and the dry bulb and there will also be the maximum and minimum thermometers which measure the highest and the lowest temperatures for the day so this houses all of the thermometers that are kept at the weather station the important thermometers which once again the maximum thermometer the minimum thermometer the wet bulb and the dry bulb thermometer kept inside here so it's a protection it's a shelter it's a house for the thermometers all right well thanks for coming and viewing another one of our videos here on addicted to geography uh, this is the stevenson screen Wow, it's Dijonet popping up again. Alright, so we have Dijonet here. She popped up on us while we were videoing the Stevenson screen. So, uh, let's interview Dijonet. So, I'm going to answer me now that I first thing in a surrey. Yeah, I can't help it. I can't help it. So, anyways, hi everyone. My name is Dijonet. Yes. Mr. Henry is my favorite teacher and I'm also Mr. Henry's favorite student. Regardless of what everyone wants to say. So, sir, are there any questions you would like to ask me about Yes. Yes, sir. What do you know about this white box here? What is it called? Sir, I know that this white box is a Stevenson screen. Wow, wow. Yeah. Wow. And, mm -hmm. yes. And what yes. does the Stevenson screen do? Well, it ensures that thermometers are measuring the current temperature of the surrounding air. Mm -hmm. So, they must be shaded from direct sunlight and have sufficient air and the stevenson screen is that device that yes. keeps all the, the thermometers inside away. yes sir and so that hey students where are you running to a very very important job we got i mean keep all the thermometer them like i'm always looking by because i'm painted all in white so i'm not eaten by the sun's light I am a, I am lofted always on high, so I am not troubled by noisy people passing by. That noisy would be people. me. Uh, on my side, you see, I've got sir, I know that word there, so you really got to me from camera. Louvre, so the window. Louvre. As in the past tense of Louvre. No, Louvre. <laughs> Louvre. I book yesterday. No, yes. it's Louvre, the window panes. On my side, you see, I got Louvre plate, white window panes. So I can let you in the ear but shut out the rain. The weather station is incomplete if I'm not on the scene. Everybody know me. I am Steve's screen. screen. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So that that is awful. So why so much answer for your guard the Stevenson screen? Wow. I don't know if they're guarding the Stevenson screen. Thanks for watching. If you like it, share it with a friend. And definitely think about subscribing for more content like this. Sorry.